One of the most fascinating things about DC Comics is their long history as a publisher. Sometimes I think DC has a little bit of a difficulty tapping into their history to tell really interesting stories. Thankfully, the character of Courtney Whitmore was recently introduced over in uh, DC's television universe with the Stargirl television show. Courtney is interesting because she is actually the stepdaughter of Pat Dugan. Courtney is able to use his gear, reappropriate it, and make herself the star girl. And really, the most interesting thing about Courtney is her basically relationship to the legacy of the DC Universe. Creators Jeff Johns and Todd Nuwak are really looking to kind of bolster all of these plot threads with a brand new series featuring Courtney cards called Stargirl The Lost Children. My name is Ariko Braddock and today we're going to go ahead and dive deep into the debut issue of Stargirl The Lost Children. But before we dive deeper into the video, wanted to encourage you to consider subscribing to the channel if you enjoy our content and please make sure to hit that like button as well. Next up, want to go ahead and read off our creative team. So Stargirl The Lost Children number one, written by Jeff Johns. We have art from Todd Nuwak, colors from Matt Herms. The letters in the issue are from Rob Lay, and the cover is illustrated by Todd Nuwak as well. So I want to go ahead and read off the solicitation text for the issue just to bring you up to speed with all the recent plot events happening in Courtney's life. An epic teenage DC hero event brought to you by Teen Titans writer Jeff Johns and iconic Young Justice illustrator Todd Nuwak. When Stargirl of the Justice Society and Green Arrow's ally, Red Arrow, discover a tragic teenage hero from the past has gone missing, they set out to find him only to discover he's not the first teenage hero of the Golden Age to have vanished without a trace. But where have they gone? Who are they? And what does the Childminder want with them? All right, and now I'm going to go ahead and show off the gorgeous um, no, Todd Knock John cover for Stargirl The Lost Children number one. Here is a peek at the debut issue over from comicbook.com. I want to give them a big thanks for uh, posting this preview art for the series so quickly. So recently over in comic book um, continuity, the new Golden Age number one set up a group of 13 DC characters that are missing to the DC universe, which are fascinating characters that are related to legacy heroes, um, you know, from DC's past. In fact, reading this issue requires readers um, to, to almost have something that they can use to research and look up these characters because there is so much history littered throughout the pages of um, this brand new Stargirl the, Gold, the, the Lost Children series. I want to start off this issue by talking about Todd Nock. Um, Todd Nock is the artist for the issue and he's an artist that I've had an interesting history with because in the past I thought that Nock's art has been a little bit too basic and not enough detail on each of the individual pages. But this issue marks a definitive turning point for Nuwak's art. The art is much more detailed. There's so much more detail in the backgrounds for the issues. A lot of the line work is cleaner than I've ever seen from his artwork before. And I think for the first time, I really found myself enjoying Knox art on you know several different levels. And really, I was able to enjoy the retro aesthetic he brought to the issue, which is, I think, a great callback to um, kind of, you know, older creators in uh, DC's past that this issue is trying to homage. So I, I really think that Nuwak has stepped up his game with so many elements of composition. This is a story with so much past and so much of a baggage that it really requires an artist who has full command of the page. And I'm very surprised that um, Nuwak was able to go ahead and rise up to the challenge, but I think the end result speaks for itself. Uh, this gorgeous page with um, Courtney and Amiko kind of emoting with each other 
and really holds a lot of subtext. It seems like Amiko is really interested in where they're going next, but Courtney definitely seems apprehensive. And I feel like you, you're able to get all of that from the page itself, which really shows me how much kind of Noak has grown as a creator over the past couple years. And I wanted to talk a little bit about some of the writing for the issue. I really thought the pacing of the issue in particular was amazing. Um, the, the issue opens with a beautiful sequence set in the 1940s where Johns and Nuwak change their style to reference um, you know, past comics. This sequence is a delight. It, it really utilizes like the zany past of comic books to tell a, a fascinating story that also really establishes like the setting and location for the issue. The issue moves really, really fast, which I definitely appreciate. This is the sequence right after where we learn that Courtney has been neglecting her school responsibilities a little bit in the issue and is discouraged from continuing her role as the star girl. You know, having somebody to go ahead and talk some sense into Courtney and maybe make the, you know, her, her motivations a little bit more complicated because she's getting conflicting advice is exactly the kind of depth in the storytelling that I'm looking for um, from a teen drama. But I love that Johns does not waste too much time lingering on some of the melodramatic elements of, of Courtney's, you know, life and relationship and just moves right along to, you know, the main, the core plot of the issue, which, um, you know, revolves around those lost children in the title for the comic book itself. When Amiko and Courtney set out to do their sleuthing to figure out what happened to these lost children that Amiko has been tipped off on, I think the issue really comes alive. It's so much fun to read this issue with, you know, kind of like something to research everything that's referenced in this issue. I don't think I caught all of the Easter eggs, um, but after doing some Google searching, I did find more information about the young all-stars, about the old justice, and I thought it was so interesting to get a little bit of more context behind, um, you know, Dan the Dynamite, as well as TNT. There are so many different characters, and I can't wait for DC to start, um, you know, revealing more about them as time goes on. And the last couple pages after Courtney and Amiko are able to, you know, start doing their sleuthing teases some of the revelations behind the actual mystery itself uh, with some interesting plot threads that I think is going to basically move readers over to the next issue uh, very easily. It's very intriguing what they're doing, and it definitely deepens the relationship between the reader and the story because Johns has so many um, you know, different interesting surprises uh, queued up for readers as they move through the issue. So overall, I am just thrilled with what I read with Stargirl The Lost Children. This is a really in-depth series that utilizes the vast history of the DC universe to reinvigorate their line of comics, open up you know, new storytelling ideas and, and places for storytelling potential. Also, I think there's just something interesting about Courtney Whitmore, and I don't know if it was realized in its full potential over on the Stargirl television show, but I think this issue is definitely queuing up some really intense moments that we're going to see in future issues. I love kind of like the stakes in this book and how it feels so important to the DC universe. I think Courtney is a really great entry character and probably should even be like the point of view character for an entire comic book event. Maybe that's on the horizon, but so far I'm so happy with the tone and direction of Stargirl The Lost Children. I really enjoyed the script from Johns and the illustrations uh, from Nock. And I wanna know from you guys, did you like this issue as much as I did? Are you intrigued with this mystery of the lost children like I am? I want you to let me know down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for checking out the video and I'll be back soon for more wonderful comic book content. Bye.